Hey folks, welcome to a brand new edition of Brush Pile Fishing. I'm your host, Russ Bailey. We're here at Holmes Bend Marina on beautiful Green River Lake. This morning, we're gonna do some crappie fishing. As you can tell, we gotta wait for the crappie to wake up. It's a little bit early, but I'm excited. Our guide, David Jones, is gonna be here shortly, and we're gonna to get to the water. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hey folks, welcome back. We've made it to the marina. I'm with Guy David Jones. David, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing well. Good to have you, Russ. But I've been up since dark. I am ready to go. I'm excited. What are we going to concentrate on today? Well, today we're going to be fishing a lot of the main lake structure that I have. We're going to be fishing 16, 17, 18, 19 foot brush piles and some moss backs that I've placed in this lake. These fish this time of the year, you know, we've got some 83, 84, 85, 6 degree water temperature. Fish are a little deeper you know, than normal. This time of year, it's really been warm here. So uh, we're gonna concentrate in that 16, 17 to 19 foot range. We're gonna catch some fish. I'll tell you what, David, it still amazes me. There's a lot of folks that'll fish for those crappie in the spring when they're shallows and they think they don't bite in the summer. This is an outstanding summer lake. The fishing is great and I'm ready to do it. You know, that's what you, that's what's so unique about this place. There's very few places in the United States that you can go and catch fish in the middle of the summer like you can here. And uh, you know, we don't have the monsters, but we got good numbers. And that's what I like to do, I like to catch fish. I'll tell you what, and that's never been a problem here. You ready to get started? I'm ready to go, buddy, let's go. Let's hit the water. This is the first brush pile of the morning. What kind of water temperature do we have? We're looking at 79 degrees this morning. A little bit uh, cooler this morning than uh, it's been a bit. We had a little bit of rain last night. I don't know if that uh, cooled things off a little bit, but uh, we've been running about 85, 86, 87 in there. So uh, there you go. Still not the size that we want yet, but we're getting bigger than that. Probably just under a nine inch. Is there a pole limit here on the lake? There's not a pole limit. Not a pole limit. You can fish as many, and you'll see uh, some people will put out six or seven. Well, I've seen this lake when the fishing is unbelievable, and that's too many poles. You couldn't even no, handle it. That no, no, that's how. There's days that that you can't handle three. Tell you what, there's a little bit better fish. I know where we're going. Yeah, a little bit better. That's good eating size right there. Yes, sir. That's about a nine three quarter inch fish. And Especially for the middle of summer, middle yeah. of August. What's the biggest fish you've ever got out of here, David? The biggest fish that uh, I've ever caught out of this lake is a, a two and a half pounder and it was right at 17 inches long. That's a nice fish, no matter where you're at. All right, folks, if you're new to crappie fishing, you might be thinking 17 inch, two and a half pounds, that doesn't sound that big. Well, maybe you're used to fishing for walleye where they're a lot bigger fish, but let me tell you, two and a half pound fish, that's respectable anywhere in the country, especially catching one like that in the summertime. That's a dandy. There you go. That's a little bit better fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what we want. Right that's there. a nice one. Right there is what we catch on green, Russ. White fish? Yeah. Do you, you catch predominantly whites here? Predominantly whites. You know, we're, I've probably caught somewhere around 5,000 keepers this year, and I've had 12 blacks. Out of 5,000? Out of 5,000. You know, but that's, boy, that's a pretty fish. Good you know. cleaner size right there, buddy. Yeah. Nice fish. I got to get you catching something. <laughs> I love how he puts his poles over the brush piles and I'm out here in no man's land. Folks, until this morning, I used to like David. <laughs> Do 
Do you ever struggle to quickly tie on hooks and jigs because the eye is too small, your hands are cold, or your eyesight just isn't what it used to be? Hi folks, I'm Russ Bailey of Brush Pile Fishing. My eyesight isn't what it used to be and I struggle to tie online to my jigs. That's why I'm pleased to announce the Tie Pro. Tie Pro is a simple, fast fishing tool to thread small eyelets, tie knots, and clip lines. It's that easy. Get yours today for only $14.99 at tiepro.com. It's the summer of red hot deals at Buckeye Ford, and it's all about the trucks. Ford has rolled out their best F-Series yet, and now is your chance to save big. The new 2015 Ford F-Series is lighter and more fuel efficient than ever without sacrificing power. Stop in and we will show you why lighter weight doesn't mean lightweight. But that's not all. We also have great deals on all your favorite Ford vehicles. So don't miss the red hot deals going on all summer long at Buckeye Ford. Think value, think service, think Buckeye. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. Innovation, it's all around us. NK Telco developed a fiber network in our communities over 10 years ago when the competitors were only thinking about it. Increasing bandwidth to make it convenient for the whole family to enjoy online entertainment and gaming. With our IPTV solution, you can enjoy over 80 HD channels providing quality TV and movies for the whole family and even take them on the go with our Watch TV Everywhere app. All this from a company that believes in local customer service from people you know and trust. NK Telco, providing services that bring value to your everyday life. Looking for the best baits and lures on the market? Look no further than SouthernPro.com. Southern Pro baits are handmade from the hook to the finished product by American workers in the USA. And our colors are mixed by our very own master craftsmen. At Southern Pro, our focus is fulfilling the desires of our fellow fishermen. Tube and solid plastics, bass tubes and lures, ice fishing tackle. Southern Pro has what you need. Visit our online store at SouthernPro.com to find everything that you're looking for to bring in your next limit of fish. PSG Automotive Outfitters, Midwest Ohio's largest truck accessory retailer. Automotive parts and accessories of all kinds, featuring WeatherTech floor liners, Mickey Thompson wheels and tires, ARE truck caps, and rigid lighting. Want the latest in trend-setting truck looks? At PSG, we install suspension lifts, wheel and tire packages, fender flares, and heavy-duty front and rear bumpers. Campers, you'll find hitches, towing accessories, and suspension upgrades. Contractors, browse our full line of WeatherGuard toolboxes and ladder racks. Online at psgautomotive.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Brush Pile Fishing. If you just joined us, today's episode, we're at Green River Lake in Kentucky and we're fishing a summertime pattern. You know, a lot of anglers, they'll fish for the crappie in the springtime when those fish are in the shallow spawning, but then it seems as they move into their summer pattern, we quit fishing for them. A lot of folks think crappie won't hit in the summer, but that's the complete opposite. They're actually more aggressive. They have to eat to sustain in those summer months also, but we have to change the way that we fish for them. If you start to move out from those shallows, hit some deeper water, some drop off, some points, you'll have success fishing for summertime crappie. When that sun gets up, and you know, in, in these dog days of summer, it, uh, those fish are, are gonna go deeper, you know, 99% of the time. So, you know, it really slows down in the middle of the day, so that, that's why, why I try to go early. That's a good fish, Russ, you might wanna net this one. You care? Absolutely, buddy. Decent one. Yeah, it's not quite as good, but uh, good cleaner again. Good cleaner. I thought that fish was a little bit better than that, but I'll take those. Boy, he pounced that that uh, baby bass. Oh, oh they love those baby. They love those baby bass. David, we talked about the depth you like to fish in summer. When you put your brush piles in, are you looking for drop-offs? Are most of them on flats, or do you mix them up? How do you how do you pick the locations that will fish? I mix them up. You know, it seems like summertime, flat your your flats are, are real good fishing on green, especially these little drains or ditches going in. You know, if you can get a even a six-inch drop or something, and uh -oh, and get close to that. Okay. But. Uh, <clears throat> I put a lot of my moss backs and my structure on flats for summertime fishing. 
We don't have the Kentucky Lake ledges on this lake. We do have some ledges, but uh, it's not like Kentucky Lake. But and, and I do drop some on ledges, but my main summertime fishing is out on these flats. I'll tell you a little secret too that I learned. I had a brush pile on a flat a few years ago, and um, it was a really good spot. We caught a lot of fish off of it. And so two or three years later, I thought I'd put me another brush pile 75 yards down from it. But ever since I put that other brush pile, for some reason, my flat, that pile has just gone cold. Okay, folks, David just brought up a good point. We were fishing a flat, and he's talking about how he puts his brush piles in. A lot of times, no matter what kind of area you're fishing, it could be a flat, it could be a rock bank, but if you put too many things in, it actually defeats the purpose. A lot of times, just something that's just a little bit irregular from the area you're fishing will actually hold those fish. So sometimes concentrate on putting maybe just one brush pile in the area you're fishing. David, another thing, a lot of times in the summer, if your lake's got a thermocline, you want to make sure you're fishing above that because of the oxygen. Does green, per se, have a, a thermocline? It sure does, and that is a big key to summertime fishing. And most of the time, that thermocline will, will you know, somewhere be around 20 foot, 19 foot, you know. Um, it, it all depends on the summer you have, you know, it varies. And, uh, but a ballpark figure is at 20, 21 foot, 22, 23 in, in there. And uh, I tell you, if you're fishing live bait, and I fish both, but if you're fishing live bait and you put your live bait in and in no time they're dead, you know, that's a good key you're fishing. You're fishing too deep. Yeah, you're fishing too deep. That's a little bit better fish, Russ. There we go. Better fish may be in here. Yeah, but they're still on your side of the boat. It's a good eating size right there, boy. All right, folks, you're seeing this. David's up on me at least 10 to nothing. I haven't caught a fish yet, but I know he's an ornery dog and I know what he's doing. He's got my side of the boat just off of that ledge a little bit where those fish aren't. I know what you're doing, David. Well, that's a keeper. Oh yeah. That's a good fish. That's a real nice fish. Southern Pro baby bass. Old Richard would be happy, wouldn't he? And that's his favorite color too. You that's know that, his favorite you? color. Well, what's a dandy right there? That's a good one. I'll good take color on these day. fish too. Real good color. Yeah. Good healthy too, Russ. They're really healthy. There we go. Hey. You finally got me over finally a brush pile. I got you over one. I'll weed these little ones out for you. How's right. that? There it is, my first fish. I'm on my way back now, David. You know, one of the things I have noticed this morning is the uh, crappie nibbles are catching a little bit more than the minnows right now. 95% of the time. Now, in the spring of the year, when the spawn's going on, mm -hmm. you don't see that much of a difference because they're going to thump whatever. It's a reaction bite. Two, 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 Russ. There we go. You me get it for Yep, you? that's a nice fish, too. Felt nice anyways. He That's a good one, Russ. Yes, sir. I'm gonna try to swing him in. Uh-oh, Russ, I got one. Here we go. Typical Green River. Can't keep a pole in the line or in the water. There you go. Yours a little bigger than mine. Yeah. Well, folks, that one did come on the jig tip with a minnow. <clears throat> Another white. Again, good keeper fish for the middle of summer. I'll tell you what, you sure wouldn't complain about those. 30 of those, we have a nice fish Friday night. But you know what, we're gonna turn him loose today. I'd say we've been here a half an hour and we've already caught 10 or 12 keepers, wouldn't well, you? In the last five minutes, yeah. it really picked up. Well, I, I, let me tell you what happened. Uh, I started out on that deeper brush pile and the fish was in here on the shallower brush this morning. And you know, a, a lot of times let your lake tell you, this, this place right here is so, uh-oh. Feel like your internet is moving like this? What if we told you NK Telco could make it move like this? NK Telco has been expanding our fiber optic network for over 10 years. What does that mean for your business? It means fast. It means efficient. It means powerful. 
With bandwidth and download speeds of up to one gigabyte, there's nothing that can slow your business down. NK Telco, delivering tomorrow's technology today. Brush Pile Fishing has now launched its online store at brushpilefishing.com. You can now purchase Brush Pile Fishing hats and apparel as well as Brush Pile Fish Attractant with many more products to come. Brush Pile Fish Attractant dates back to a family recipe 30 years in the making. A blend of five powerful ingredients that drive pan fish crazy. Field and tournament tested, Brush Pile Fish Attractant is the number one choice of Crop USA national champion David Jones. Get your Brush Pile Fishing apparel and Brush Pile Fish Attractant now at brushpilefishing.com. Not all lines are created equal. Gamma's molecularly altered fishing lines offer an unprecedented combination of flexibility, shock resistance, strength, abrasion resistance, and low memory. A line so unique it's patented. Gamma provides the angler with more accurate casts, natural presentations, and a greater fish fighting capability. Put your trust in Gamma Line. A line so good it is backed up by a money back guarantee. Visit GammaFishing.com. It's the summer of red hot deals at Buckeye Ford, and it's all about the trucks. Ford has rolled out their best F Series yet, and now is your chance to save big. The new 2015 Ford F Series is lighter and more fuel efficient than ever without sacrificing power. Stop in, and we will show you why lighter weight doesn't mean lightweight. But that's not all. We also have great deals on all your favorite Ford vehicles. So don't miss the red hot deals going on all summer long at Buckeye Ford. Think value, think service, think Buckeye. Innovation, it's all around us. NK Telco developed a fiber network in our communities over 10 years ago when the competitors were only thinking about it. Increasing bandwidth to make it convenient for the whole family to enjoy online entertainment and gaming. With our IPTV solution, you can enjoy over 80 HD channels, providing quality TV and movies for the whole family, and even take them on the go with our Watch TV Everywhere app. All this from a company that believes in local customer service from people you know and trust. NK Telco, providing services that bring value to your everyday life. Stop fumbling with your jig, stop using bait that isn't working, and stop procrastinating on retying your jigs and start tying with Tie Pro. With Tie Pro, you can easily and quickly thread, tie, and clip your jig knots. Tie Pro allows you to change bait that isn't working with no fumbling and no fuss. Get to catching fish. Get the Tie Pro tying tool today at tiepro.com. Buy two and receive free shipping. Uh oh. There you go. If that's a crappie, it's a good one, Russ. You need a net for him? I, I don't even know if I can get him top of the water. If he's a crappie, he's a good one. Oh, oh yeah. good oh, gracious. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Man, summertime here on Green River Lake. I like that. It don't get much bigger than that, Russ, on Green. Nice fish. A little fish. bit bigger. I mean, we catch them a little bit bigger, but that's a good one right there. Well, when he hit that thing, you couldn't, I couldn't budge him. Seen that pole go down here. He got my baby bass. I'm gonna let him have it, I believe. I'll get it out of his mouth. Right there's a dandy. That's a good Green River Lake crappie right there. Well, I've got to get you catching fish here in a minute. Yeah, I didn't drive five hours and had all yours, mister. <laughs> Outside pole. Do I get half credit on you get, that? You get a little bit of credit. <laughs> eh, not a keeper. I don't want credit for that you one. You don't man. want no credit. Folks, we finished our first spot of the morning. David, you're ready to hit another one. Yeah, we're gonna go down the lake. As I said earlier, this is a little spawning cove that we, and it's been kind of weird this year. We've been catching fish out of it all year. So we pulled in here and probably caught 20 fish, you know, six to 10 keepers. We're gonna go fish a flat next, okay. like I talked about earlier. And uh, I think we'll find some fish on that flat. Start planning your Green River trip today. Visit Campbellsville. Let me show you a little tip right here that I do uh, on these marker buoys that we used to toss out to try to give us a little sense of direction. I camo mine, and, uh, but with all the electronics now, people can find your spots, and if you camo them, people don't see them as far off. And uh, that's just something that I do. I, I think it helps me a lot. It keeps people from seeing my buoy markers out and coming in and finding my spots. And uh, 
what, when I find my spot, like right here, we're getting ready to fish, I just toss this marker out and just throw it out. So it kind of gives me a sense of directions on which, which way I want to point my boat at to fish. You know what, folks, you heard him talk about how he conceals his spots with that uh, marker buoy. That's all right, because today, every spot we've went to, I've got a little handheld GPS. I've been <laughs> marking them all, so I got them. Give me a call, I'll sh get you a super deal on them. <laughs> That's not quite fair, Russ. <laughs> Folks, one of the things, we're fishing about 15 foot deep. This is a 12 foot pole. Line your jig up. That's about three foot to the reel. So right there, you've got your 15 foot in depth. Pretty simple. There's another one. Ah, you just got, there's one on that pole. <laughs> you got one on your first pole, Russ. You know, they're not monsters, but they're they're keepers. I'll tell you what though, like if you brought kids out today. Oh yeah. Cause you know sometimes they get bored pretty easy, but that wouldn't happen today, would it? No. That's what I like about crappie fishing here too, is cause I like to catch fish. You bet. You know what I spend about a hundred to 125 days a year out here and I never get too much of it. It's just something about that thump or that catching that crappie. It's just You got it. Well it gets in your blood. You know, people won't know why you get up so early and come out here and go fishing. I mean, where else could you go in this world that'd be any prettier than this? That's right. Folks, today was like a homecoming for me. The first time I was ever at Green River, we did a summer show back with Midwest Crappie. And I'll tell you what, it was amazing because I'd never been to a lake that in the summer you were catching so many fish. I'm still like a little kid. I love going out and it's just the sheer numbers alone. And you know what? We caught some 14 inch fish that day. But the thing that I'll always remember is having three or four poles going down at the same time. It was like that all day. I'll tell you what, I do like Green River. There you go, second pole, second, second pole, pole right there. there we go. Might be a little bit better fish. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. a little bit better. Come here. Uh-oh, brush your back pole just went down. Yep, he's still on there. All right, let me take you that one. Yep. I think you got one on your front yeah, pole. I do. Cheese and peas. You got it? I, I got, got this one. Okay, you got that one. Yep. Well, he said we were just getting over the brush. And these are a little bit better fish. Yeah, they are. As soon as we can finally get it in the brush. Yeah. Hey, folks, I want to take a minute to talk about the equipment we're using today. Uh, David uses a real simple uh, technique for this. This is great for beginners. David, you want to explain about the pole and why you like that? Well, I'm a B&M pole man, and uh, what we're using today is a 12-foot B&M crappie wizard pole. IM7 graphite, great pole for this type of fishing. I've been using these for years. Probably the best, without a doubt, the best pole on the market. Very simple rig. We've got six-pound gamma line. David likes to clear. Normally, I'm going to fish with a high vis. Uh, both will work well. We've got fairly clear water here. David, I remember a few years ago when you had minnows and hooks, and that was it. And we started using jigs that day. You can see now he's a big baby bass by Southern Pro. He loves that. It's a 1 16th ounce jig head on there. And one of the things that David likes to do is use that split shot. What size split shot is that? That's a that? quarter ounce. Quarter ounce, about a foot to a foot and a half above the jig head. Very, very simple rig, easy to use. You don't have a lot of problems when you're doing that on the water. And that's what's worked well for us today. B&M Pulse is a family-owned business in its third generation of ownership and over 70 years of providing the most extensive line of crappie rods in the industry. We believe that sensitivity is the key to catching crappie and we've designed a rod for every technique based around this belief. Our products are field tested by the best fishermen in the country and used by the best guides because their clients can simply catch more crappie. So when you're choosing your next crappie pole, go with the brand that's won a dozen national championships and more regional events to count. Go with the brand I choose, B&M. Looking for the best baits and lures on the market? Look no further than SouthernPro.com. Southern Pro baits are handmade from the hook to the finished product by American workers in the USA. And our colors are mixed by our very own master craftsmen. At Southern Pro, our focus is fulfilling the desires of our fellow fishermen. Tube and solid plastics, bass tubes and lures, ice fishing tackle. Southern Pro has what you need. Visit our online store at SouthernPro.com to find everything that you're looking for to bring in your next limit of fish. 
Since 1963, Power and Tell has been a market leader in the procurement, sales, and distribution of communications products. We partner with top manufacturers to carry and deliver the inventory you need for the efficient completion of your everyday and project work. Our portfolio of industry best solutions includes products for broadband access, cable television, cellular backhaul, data centers, FTTX, home networking, IPTV, and much more. PSG Automotive Outfitters, Midwest Ohio's largest truck accessory retailer. Automotive parts and accessories of all kinds, featuring WeatherTech floor liners, Mickey Thompson wheels and tires, ARE truck caps, and rigid lighting. Want the latest in trend-setting truck looks? At PSG, we install suspension lifts, wheel and tire packages, fender flares, and heavy-duty front and rear bumpers. Campers, you'll find hitches, towing accessories, and suspension upgrades. Contractors, browse our full line of WeatherGuard toolboxes and ladder racks. Online at psgautomotive.com. This episode of Brush Pile Fishing is brought to you by Southern Pro Tackle, BNM Poles, Gamma Fishing Line, Driftmaster Rod Holders, Ego Nets, Tie Pro Tying Tools, Buckeye Ford and brush pile fish attractants. That's a better fish. You got a decent one? I got a decent one. Oh, yes, you, you got do. the net. Yes, you do. Oh, don't lose him. There's a nice fish. Maybe we just needed that hot sun to come out. Uh, maybe that so. is a nice one. That's a good Green River Lake crappie right there. You'd settle for him, huh? I'll take him. Nice fish. Beautiful color. There we go. Oh, oh that yeah, might not Russ. be too bad. Let me get the net. Uh oh. Let me get you. Oh, got my line. I got him. I got him. I got, got him. him. Yep. Oh. Got in that line. There we go. That's another good That's fish. That's not a bad one. Look at the mouth of that fish, folks. And even though this is a little bit darker than some would call it, that's still a white crappie. You can see the distinct white or uh, dark lines going down the side. So that's still a white. Nice fish. It's later in the day. The sun has kind of pushed those fish to the deeper brush piles. And it's actually making it a little bit easier to find some of the bigger fish than it was this morning. I think they were spread out. Uh, like I say, the sun's driving them down. That's a nice fish. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Brush Pile Fishing. David Jones, I have had a blast. Russ, it's been great having you. I always look forward to you coming down here and fishing. Well, you know, it's been fun. Typical Green River, we're in the middle of August, and it's one, two, three poles at a time all day long again. And then you mix in there a few pretty nice fish. It was a great time. Hey, how many places can you go in August and catch fish like we've talked today? Well, like I say, I sure, I sure appreciate you having us down. Oh, I enjoyed it. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show, and I hope you join us for next week's.